I'm just gonna come out here and say it. The most important feature in Apple Home is scenes. Now, that might sound overly simplistic, but there are a lot of details here that really unlock a great Apple Home setup. And they're the foundation of getting everything from basic commands to coordinating some complex automations. And today I'm gonna to take you from the basics of scenes right through all the advanced details that I love to use, including a way I use this to customize Siri. In its simplest form, a scene is just a way to resume some settings on one or more accessories like lights. This might sound obvious at first, but one of the great things about a scene is that it's the same every single time. And by keeping scenes for certain activities like working or playing games or watching YouTube, you can help your mind adapt to that specific mode. Let's go ahead and make an Apple Home scene. So I'm in the Home app and I'm gonna tap the three dots in the top and then go to the room I wanna set up the scene in, which in this case is the office. And then I'll hit the plus button here and I can choose add scene. And then it'll ask me, do I want a scene for arriving home or good morning scene or leaving home or maybe some other stuff that might put there for you. I just choose custom most of the time. Now, if I tap on this little home icon, I can then assign a custom icon and color to it. I'm gonna choose the popcorn and cause YouTube's logo is red, I'll pick red. Now I'm gonna tap on the add accessories button and scroll down to my office. Now keep in mind, you might wanna add accessories here that you want to be sure turn off if another scene might be on. So I'm gonna go ahead and add all of the different lights here. And maybe I wanna also add the air purifier in here because maybe I don't want that running in the background. I'm gonna hit done. Now what it's done here is it's picked the settings that I'm currently using for those lights and added it to the scene. But I can choose if I want those settings to be different for this scene. So let's say I want the main lights on, the spotlights are off, the air purifiers turned off, um, I don't want the plant light on, and the status light, maybe I'll set the color to green because I don't mind if people come in and interrupt me while I'm watching YouTube. And maybe I'll make the main lights in the room just a little bit dimmer. I don't want them getting in the way of the TV. All right, so I could test this scene out by tapping test this scene, or I could also tap the add accessories button to add more accessories. And you can add more accessories than what's just in that particular room. And then each room will show the scenes that control accessories inside of it at the top of that room's view. Now, if I wanted this scene to appear on my main home home tab, then I can choose add to home view and that will put it right up there if it's something that I'm gonna be using frequently. In this case, I'll just turn it off. I'll probably trigger this from an automation or something else. So then I hit done. And now I have my YouTube scene. If I scroll here to the side, you'll see I have a lot of scenes here in my office. But then here's YouTube watching, and if I wanna turn it on, I can just tap it here in the Home app, and it's gonna go ahead and turn the lights to my particular scene. Now if I wanna go back to my filming scene, I can just tap Filming, and it's gonna resume what I have set up in the office for filming. Now, naming a scene is also really important. And of course, it should describe whatever the scene does because scenes and their names sync to all the other users in your home. The real advantage here is that Siri will also perform scenes by simply activating Siri and then saying the scene name. So when we want to wake up our twin children, I created a scene called Wake Up the Twins. So then anyone in our home can just tell a Siri on a HomePod or any other device, wake up the twins, which makes sense to a lot of people, and it does it. So take some time thinking about what makes sense and maybe rename some of your existing scenes with some kind of an action phrase that is easier to remember and feels more natural to talk to Siri with that like you're telling a person to do it. Now, speaking of making your smart home easier to use, as you build out your smart home and have more and more rooms in your house filled with smart home tech, I like to define a minimum of three scenes per room. And those are just the room name followed by bright, dim, or off. So office bright, office dim, and office off. This way, you don't have to think twice about wanting to set the lights to a generally good setting for bright lights, dim lights, or all the lights off. And it can also be super helpful as you're setting up automations, which we'll get to next. Now, 
before we get to automation, maybe I'd make like a small little free app to just take care of this for you in your smart home by setting these up or maintaining them. Um, let me know in the comments below if that would be interesting to you. So back to that Apple Home automation. As your smart home grows, you'll potentially add more automations that are from more triggers, whether that's a time of day, of course, or sensors that sense motion or a door opening, or you might add other kinds of, let's say, home kit buttons or switches. And I'm gonna make a video very soon about automation, so be sure to subscribe if you don't wanna miss that. But the thing is, if you change out your lights, let's say you add another smart bulb in a room or you just upgrade something, then you'd have to change all these different places of where that might be triggered. And so what you should really do is set up a scene like office off, the room lights off, and then you can tie that to your motion sensor, your buttons, all kinds of other automation. Wait, this last item for scenes is one of my favorites. If you subscribe to Apple Music and you have AirPlay to speakers in your home, like let's say some Sono speakers, HomePod minis or HomePods or an Eve Play, which I recently reviewed, then you can play Apple Music tracks with a scene. And you can even have this set up to play to multiple AirPlay 2 speakers at once. Now, I do find that multi-room groups in this kind of situation can be a little bit slower to start than just a single speaker. So keep that in mind. If you want it to be faster, you might just reduce it to one speaker, but it is possible to do multi-room. So for example, I can set up a dinner time scene which shuffles one of my playlists in the dining room. And let me show you how you can set that up. All right, so I've opened my dining room in Apple Home and I wanna go ahead and customize my dinner time scene to add some music to it. So if I long press on the scene, I can go to edit scene. And then you'll see right now, it just turns the chandelier in our dining room to 51% brightness. But if I go here to add and remove accessories, and then add the home pod that's in that room or it could be you know an airplay 2 speaker then i'll see this option for the scene for media and i can choose to have it play audio now another cool detail of this feature is you can also have it pause audio so maybe you want like a scene for when you leave home that turns off a bunch of lights pauses anything playing on particular speakers that can be handy as well. And you can also specify the volume and you can also say in this particular scene, you just want it to adjust the volume. Maybe you wanna reset a HomePod's volume to lower or higher at a particular time of day. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap audio and then I can pick anything from Apple Music. So I go ahead and browse all of Apple Music or I can search for some playlist in my library. Maybe I want this blue album uh, that's some really good acoustic guitar. I'm gonna go ahead and hit add. I could say I want it to shuffle because I don't want it to be the same songs in the same order every night. And maybe I want the album to repeat so that it's just always playing this guitar music until I stop it. So now I'm here in my dining room and it's time for dinner. So I just say dinner time. And now on this HomePod, we're hearing some nice acoustic guitar music. Now, one other thing you might have noticed on that screen when I choose audio is that alternative to Apple Music, you can choose ambient sound. So these are just great background noise, could be nice for sleeping or whatever kind of way you wanna set the mood in a particular scene, uh, especially in the winter time, might be nice to add a fireplace background noise. So you can do that. And as I tap these, I'm getting a little preview of what it sounds like here on my phone. Now I have some other videos linked here on the screen that can help you take control of your Apple home. Thanks again so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.